Adobe Illustrator is a vector drawing program. Vector artwork you create in Illustrator like this shape can be resized and maintain its crisp edges. But you can also bring raster images like an image you take on your phone camera into your Illustrator projects. Raster images are made up of groups of pixels aligned on a grid to form an image. Raster images can't be scaled up or down without quickly losing quality. In this video, you'll learn how to add an image to this Illustrator project and understand what image linking is. Then you'll learn how to resize and crop an image to remove parts of it. If you'd like to follow along, open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. With the document open, to see all of the screens in this app design, choose View, Fit All in Window. To bring an image into your Illustrator project, you'll place an image file. To do that, choose File, Place. In the Place dialog box that appears, navigate to the practice files you downloaded and select the image or another image file like JPEG or PNG, for instance, you'd like to use. On Mac, you may need to click this Options button. On Windows, you shouldn't need to, to show this link option. Make sure this link option is selected, which means that when you place the image into your document, if the original image, Nepal.jpg in this case, is edited in a program like Adobe Photoshop, the image in your Illustrator document will be updated to match. If you deselect this link option, the image is embedded in the Illustrator project. That means a copy of it is placed in the Illustrator file and it won't update if you edit the original image file outside of Illustrator. Leave the link option selected and click Place. To place the image in your document, move the pointer around and click somewhere to place the image at its original size. When you place images, you can transform them in a lot of different ways. With the selection tool selected in the tools panel on the left, drag the image to put it into the upper left corner of this artboard. Magenta Smart Guides will show when it's aligned with the artboard. So that the image is behind all of the other content, you'll change its stacking order. In the Properties panel to the right, Click the Arrange button and choose Send to Back. The Send to Back command sends it behind all of the other content in the document. You can also easily resize an image you place, but you want to resize without distorting the image. To do that, drag a corner of the selected image and notice that you can change it to any size. As you drag, press the Shift key to constrain the resizing so you don't distort it. When it's about the size of the artboard, release the mouse button, and then the shift key. After placing images, you may need to remove parts of them to better suit your design needs. For instance, maybe you place an image in the header of a web design and you only need to show part of the image, or you add an image to a brochure and the image would fit better in the design if it were more square in shape. To permanently remove part of an image, you can crop it. With the image still selected, Click the Crop Image button in the Properties panel to the right of the document. The image can't be linked to crop it, so Illustrator will embed the image in the Illustrator file. That means if you edit the original image in Photoshop, for instance, the image will no longer update in this project. Click OK. Now you can see the crop edge around the image. Drag the bottom handle up until the crop edge snaps to the bottom of the artboard. When the image looks like you want, Click Apply in the Properties panel to the right to permanently delete part of the image. So that you can see the final design, choose Select, Deselect. Now you know how to place images in Illustrator and you can make some changes to those images like resizing and cropping. The next time you want to create a brochure, flyer, web, or app design, you can add your own images to your projects and transform them to fit your designs. Save a copy of this file by choosing File, Save As. Make sure you change the name, that way you don't overwrite the original practice file. 